Hello and welcome to another video. I wanted to show you a very, very mean prank and uh, also teach you something on how you can avoid <laughs> the outcome of this prank. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so in order to set this up, and I'm not encouraging this, I just want to show you something that I thought was funny. Uh, in order to set this up, it can work in any, rep any sort of directory. Uh, I actually think this prank works way better inside of a Git repo is to touch a file that has a particular name. Uh, I'm going to touch a file called dash rf dollar pwd. You could also use tilde here, et cetera, et cetera. And the idea of the prank is if somebody runs get status, they'll see, oh, I have this annoying dash r dollar sign pwd file. I'm just gonna delete that file. Uh, and they run the command and their repository is gone, their current working directory is gone, or their home directory is gone, which is even worse. But I want to show you how to get around this, and in some ways I've already showed you the first way to get around this, which is to quote the arguments so that the, very, the shell variable is not interpreted, but also to use dot, uh, dot slash on the beginning. That avoids this being treated as an option, um, and I'll show you some other, some other ways to do this. Okay, so let's set this up again, cd into wat, touch the file. So first, let's show what happens if I don't have the dot slash on the beginning. Uh, touch it, or sorry, I guess we would want rm. Uh, rm is going to be pretty confused here because it doesn't know what this space option is here, and it's interpreting dash r and dash f as options to to rm. Uh, now, all core utils that are, well, I don't know about macOS, but <laughs> I don't know about the BSD core utils, but at least the GNU core utils all support this functionality, which allows you to put a dash dash uh, in your argument list, and anything after that will be treated literally. In this case, for rm, it'll be treated as a file. So if we do rm dash dash space, and then quoted this so that we don't, don't end up with our uh, dollar sign here, uh, this will allow us to escape this prank and not you know, safely delete this file. And the other is what I showed before. Uh, if we go back to touch, touch dot slash, yeah, yeah. Uh, the other way out of this is again to use the dot slash at the beginning. That way it, it, it unambiguously refers to a file and not a set of options. Uh, dot slash dot is just a uh, shortcut for the working, the current working directory in the same way that dot dot is the parent directory. And dot with a slash after that is also the same as the current working directory. So this is joining this path with the current working directory. Uh, just, just a little, not really a shortcut, but a way to force this to be a file and not be something else. So that's kind of the two ways to get out of this, either dash dash to uh, treat arguments literally, or to use dot slash so that it's definitely a path. And always be sure to quote things, even if they have weird file names. I think file names can even have new lines in them, which... You shouldn't ever, but um, I've seen some security bugs where uh, tools assume, or I don't want to touch, where tools assume that things don't have a single line. And um, yeah, like if I run get ls files right now, uh, oops, we need to add that file. Yeah. If I run get ls files right now, uh, oh, they've changed it. Interesting. It used to print hi and then a new line in hello, so it looked like you had two files here, even though you only have one. Uh, but this is this is a big improvement to that. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you found this useful. Uh, don't run this prank on PFI. I just wanted to show it because I think it's funny. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, the button doesn't work.